Hi everyone, back here again for another video. I've been using an iPad for years and this means for me, my iPad is my laptop replacement. I can do all what I need to do and more. But right off the bat, let me say that no, the iPad is not a laptop. Let me show you guys what I mean. I will divide my topics into three categories of how I use my iPad. I believe how I use my iPad is the same as most people who are mostly average users. So first, let me get this out of the way, and which is about consuming content. I like watching YouTube, obviously, and I believe a lot of you out there like it too. I like making YouTube videos too, but we'll get to that later. Watching YouTube is just so convenient with the iPad that sometimes I don't realize I have been on YouTube the whole day. This is not an issue of using the iPad the whole day because the battery life is great. And if I want to, I can use Safari to watch YouTube videos while I do something else in the iPad using the picture-in-picture -picture mode. This stuff can of course be done on a laptop, but it's just easier and more convenient with the iPad as I have the option to get the keyboard out of my way. Next type of content consumption is browsing the net, again, same as what most of us do on a laptop. I like using Chrome because it can translate non-English sites to English, and lately I have been using Safari. This also gives me the laptop feel because I can browse sites on desktop version. In Safari, I sometimes use the desktop version of YouTube Studio. Here I can use the editor feature to blur parts of my video. Not the easiest thing to use, I admit. It's quite hard to navigate and precisely put the blur, but it's there and can be used and for free. When I'm not on YouTube, whether watching or making videos, oh, and by the way, I don't watch Netflix on my iPad. So when I'm not watching YouTube, I sometimes read eBooks and I use both Kindle and Playbooks. When I buy ebooks, I usually check the price on both sites like the Google Play Store and Amazon to see where I can get the book I want in a cheaper price. And most of the time, the ebooks are cheaper than the actual books. This saves me money and space in my house as I don't have to keep physical books. Now, this is something more comfortable to do on the iPad. Reading and I think downloading ebooks at least for me, is easier to do on the iPad than on a laptop. Would you agree? Leave a thumbs up in the comments below if you agree with me. Now, moving on to my second category, which is the productivity. Where do I start? There's just so many things I do on my iPad that makes me feel productive and also kind of sophisticated. I mean, just look at this gorgeous piece of metal. We all have emails for personal use and you know there's no question about working on emails in the iPad. Apple devices come with a stock email app, but personally, I've never used it. I use the Spark email app as I prefer how my emails are organized and the big one is that I love this news option. This I learned to love from the old inbox email app by Gmail. I mentioned in my productivity video that the Spark app helps me stay on track on emails I need to work on by snoozing and setting a time to take action on my emails. At the same time, it helps me declutter my inbox as it neatly talks away emails I don't really need to see at this time. It's inside folders and in archives, which I can easily search when I need it. Now in creating documents, I haven't really tried the Microsoft 365 online for personal use except for OneNote. I use my iPad sometimes to access my work stuff like my Outlook or my Word documents that I save for work using the online Microsoft 365 via Google Chrome and so far it works okay. Anyway, what I mainly use are Google Docs and Google Sheets. I use Google Docs mainly for writing my YouTube scripts or when there is a need for me to write any document. And I use Sheets mainly for my budget and expense tracker. 
I use Google Docs and Google Sheet because I just been using it for quite some time now and the syncing to all my devices work perfectly well and it's just so convenient. And this is the last in this category. And if you watch my other videos, I show there that I'm now moving into a digital journal. I created my own digital journal in GoodNotes, which I can put my to-dos, my plans, and reminders. I can write it down using my Apple Pencil, which is something I cannot do on a laptop. I know there's the Microsoft Surface and other laptops with stylus, but I think on the tablet and writing category, the iPad is really the best. The third and final category is for my drawings and my YouTube videos. I'm not a real creative person, but I like to draw sometimes. I have other videos where I attempted to draw nicely, and though it's not amazing, it, it was okay. And today, I created my own wallpaper using Sketchbook. I admit, I'm trying to copy Canoopsie. Using the Apple Pencil on the iPad is really a good experience, whether it's drawing or writing. So for someone like me who wants to draw every now and then, I'll definitely use an iPad and not a laptop. Now for my YouTube videos, I've not edited any of my videos on a laptop. I edited all my YouTube videos using my iPad, using VLLO and iMovie. For me, I think this is a good move as I did not have to spend time finding apps to install on a laptop that maybe I have to pay a lot of money. And come to think of it, it's just so convenient to find apps in the App Store, install it quickly, and use it without burning my lap because of laptop overheating plus transferring the videos and photos from my iphone to my ipad is just really so easy using airdrop this is something i cannot easily do if i was using a laptop well depends probably if i'm using a high spec laptop i guess i recently purchased the vllo premium app but before this i was making all my youtube videos and editing it with just the free version so I highly recommend this editing app. Lastly is the camera. You may be wondering why I included this in this category. Well, I use the iPad's camera sometimes to shoot a second angle for my videos. And just to say it simply, this is something I cannot definitely do with a laptop camera. I know not all apps in the iPad work the same way as those in laptops or desktop. Many people think that the iPad cannot replace a laptop, and I would say yes. That might be true for those who need to use apps that work only on laptops. However, for me, for all the reasons I've just shown you, I chose to adapt myself and find my way around the available apps for the iPad and its capacity. The iPad is not a laptop because it's a tablet a very powerful tablet that performs like a laptop. So that's it. Thanks for watching.